Hi, welcome to Irvine Pets and Company. I'm your host, Kathy Graves. With me to start the show is Cindy and this absolutely adorable little dog, very aptly named. Very aptly named. His name is Cutie. He's a seven and a half year old Shih Tzu, and he's absolutely adorable. He is. We have lots of cuties here at the Irvine Animal Care Center, so stay with us and we'll show you many, many more dogs, cats, and rabbits now available for adoption at the Irvine Animal Care Center. Cindy, you will not rue the day that you adopt this dog. No, you won't. You always do a nice, clever play of words. Sure, this is Rue, uh -huh. and she's a three-year-old Staffordshire Terrier Pitbull mix. Okay. Um, she's been with us for a little while. She's um, she's been here long enough for us to put her in the small dog play group, which is really funny. She's the biggest of the little group, and uh -huh. she, um, uh, she 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 does like to chase kitties, so she can't go home with a cat. But okay. she um, um, but she li likes other dogs, and she's um, uh, very playful. Um, she's a little bit stubborn when you're walking her. She she uh, wants to go one way, you're going another. But Ooh, okay. sits really well. But uh, she, she, you know, she's easily corrected though. She's just um, wants to go want, go her own way. <laughs> okay, well, no. but she's awfully <laughs> cute, and she, her size is very appealing to a lot of people. Yes, because she's only yes. 20, 27 pounds, and that's pretty small for this type of breed. Well, but, she is. When I first saw her, I thought she was a puppy. I know people think she's a puppy, and they're like, "What? She's full grown?" Yep, she's full grown, and. Um, just so, um, for someone looking for that breed, but mm -hmm. wanting, you know, that's too big for them, she'd be perfect. Oh, she would. Well, she's a great dog, obviously smart, so if somebody works with her a little bit on her walks, uh, she'd probably take care of that. Yes, so yes. So if you're looking for a, a great dog, a real cutie, if you like the pit bulls, Staffordshire Terriers, but the smaller size, Rue would be great. Bob, who's this handsome dog you have with you? This handsome dog in this beautiful brindle coat is named Harvey. Aha. Uh -huh. um, we can't always 100% be sure what type of dog he is without official DNA testing. Yes. Um, but Harvey appears to be what's called a plot hound, hmm. or in the words of our expert dog classifier, a Belgian Melanois. Either one. Whichever On you want him to be. Whatever you want him to be. Yeah. He's a wonderful dog. He's kind-hearted, he's sweet, he walks beautifully. He's obviously been someone's pet before. Okay. Um, he came into the shelter with an age of six years and two months. So obviously somebody knew how old <laughs> Somebody he was. knew, right. But it's a perfect age for dogs because he not only will play and he's kind-hearted and he has a lot of energy and stuff, but he's also not that puppy stage that drives everybody a little bit crazy in training. As you can see, he loves to play. Well, he's a beautiful dog, too. He's very attentive to things, so. Very attentive, looks around to everything, knows what's going on, loves to walk. Uh, absolutely a perfect dog to bring home with you. Well, if you're looking for a great dog, somebody past that uh, puppy stage, but still with lots of good years. As you can see, lots <laughs> of good is, puppies still in him. This is Harvey. Well, Lori's here with little Minnie. This is what do Minnie. we know about Minnie? <laughs> we know that she is a poodle mix, but uh -huh. you can kind of see she looks pretty much poodly. I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> nice and soft and cuddly fur. She's a real sweetheart. Um, we don't think she's too good around kids. Oh, okay. But she's, but other than that, she's just a sweet little girl, and uh, she's affectionate and just likes to be with you. And she's just cuddly. But she's a cute little dog, so... Um, and well. five years old is a great age. I mean, they've, they've got their puppyhood done and... <laughs> <laughs> the terrible puppyhood. And, uh, but they still have the energy, you know, to, to go and do. Well, she could be a great companion for a single person or a couple or family with older children. That, sure, yes. Uh, yes. Understand about dogs, not right. rushing at them yes. and that sort of thing. So. 
she is a really cute dog. Now she's mainly white, but she's got these little apricot spots on her, which kind of give her a distinctive look, I would say. That's right, that's right. A little artist touch here. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Well, if you're looking for a really sweet dog, this is Minnie. Well, we have lots of cute little terriers right now, Diane, and this is one of them. Which one is this? This is Cadbury, uh -huh. and he's three-year-old poodle mix. Okay. He's very sweet. He's He loves to play around. He's got lots of energy. Oh, lots well, he's and a lots terrier. Of he's a terrier, <laughs> yes. He's a terrier, and um, he, he's uh, very playful. He's really good by himself, though, and he's oh, really? not and he's not a barker. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. So, because well, a lot of people, I'd say most people, are gone during the day for work, and so leaving a dog at home can be a problem if they uh, get that anxiety and they're bothering the neighbors with their barking. Right. But. Yeah. No, I think he could stay in the yard and not bark. He's he. I love to walk him because he's not a barker. So okay. When I walk by his kennel, he just you know, does that, and I said, well, I'm going to walk him. I'm going to reward him for that good behavior. There you go. <laughs> and he's really cute, too. He's got really pretty fur, the coloring, the, the white and the tan. He uh, looks like a puppy, but he's not. He's another one that looks like a puppy. Right, but he's one. certainly got the energy of a puppy. Well, he could be the eternal puppy there. But he does know some, um, you know, he'll sit. Oh. So he, he, you know, somebody, I think, did spend some time with him, and so he does know some simple commands. All right. Well, those of you who want to make your home merrier with a terrier, this is Cadbury. Mary Lou, this dog is very charming. Well, sh uh, she is aptly named because yes. she is definitely a charmer. Uh huh. Uh, her name is Charm, obviously. She's eight years old, and she came in as a, a stray. Oh. She's awfully tiny to be out on the streets by you know, herself. It's hard to believe <laughs> that she was not that she got away from somebody and they didn't come for her. Aww. But you know, she's here. She's just a sweet, sweet thing. She is available for adoption for no fee uh, by a person who is a senior because she is a senior dog. Oh, that's a good deal. Mm -hmm. She is very affectionate, as you can see. And if you uh, hold her, she loves being held. But she also walks, not, I would say she doesn't really like very tall grass, but um, <laughs> otherwise, she likes to walk with you. Well, she's a sweet little dog, and like the little chihuahuas, I'm sure you could take her with you, put her in your purse, and she would love to go. She's the perfect purse dog. There you go. This is Charm. Yeah. Deborah, who's this cute little dog? We have Duncan. Duncan, here. I love that name. He's three years old, and he's just a very handsome Chihuahua mix. He is. He's got eyes that match his coat, and even his collar matches his coat. It he's does. just a very sweet little guy. He's, he's kind of a reserved little gentleman. Okay. He's not one that loves a lot of cuddling, but I think that will come in time. Yeah, probably. With, with his owner, uh -huh. and he's just he's just kind of. A little bit reserved and he wants to take his time to get to know you but I've spent a lot of time with him and he's 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 really nice with me right now he's very sweet and he even lets me pick him up and, and everything so he's just a sweetheart well he's one of those dogs with manners and good etiquette so obviously he's had some good training and there's probably some of that self in there that creates that so while some of the smaller dogs can be uh, can bark when you come home or people come in, it doesn't look like Duncan's going to do that. <laughs> yes. So if he's really a cute little dog. I don't think he ever grew into his ears, but <laughs> he is very cute. So if you're looking for a really sweet Chihuahua, somebody a little bit more laid back, this is Duncan. Well, this is Baxter, and what a cute little boy he is. He is. He's uh, three years old. He, they're calling him a, a mini poodle. Okay. There's probably <laughs> other fluffy things in there's, there, though. There's, yeah, I think there's a few fluffy things in there. But uh, he's playful, but he can also be calm. He's loving. And he'd make a great home for somebody. He's very cute. He's very cute. I like the little hop when he walks. Yes, he has a very yes. distinctive run yes, in him. Yeah, he loves his walks. Wouldn't, wouldn't we all, you Yeah. Know? But he's, he's a sweetie, as you can tell. He'd, he'd be content to sit, right, just sit next to you all day long. 
Right. I think he'd probably be good for just about any home, I would say. Mm -hmm. He seems to be a dog that would just get along and probably fit in very well. I think that's true. Yes. And let's hope that happens today. Yes, let's hope so. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a really cute dog, somebody who has his playful side and also his calm side. This is Baxter. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office. She's just as happy as can be. She's my sweet little angel. She's my D.O.G. Season Milan. Visit MilanFoundation.org and learn the facts. Let's change their future one dog at a time. Hi Deb. Who's this cosmopolitan <laughs> international cat? Well, this little Moo Kitty is named London. Ah. London, England. And she speaks English. That's oh good. <laughs> right. She speaks the king's English. Yes, she so. does. <laughs> She's a beautiful girl. She's been here a couple of months. Mm -hmm. um, this is another one. We never know why. She was a stray. Yes, she was so. a stray. She's very sweet. She has wonderful soft fur. She does. It's yeah. like silk. Yeah, I wish really we had feel a vision for her. Yeah. She's super soft. Yeah, she's really nice cat. Uh, she might be a little talkative, so <laughs> if you live alone and you want to have a nice conversation, <laughs> yeah, have a she's good a good companion. With her. <laughs> and how old is she? She's about six years. Okay, Give so uh, that's a good age. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, she still has a little bit of um, playfulness to her. We're okay. in the get acquainted room, and she did play a little bit, but she actually. I was on the floor with her and she was really happy just sitting in my lap and purring and giving headbutts. Aww. So. Well, if you want a lap sitter, but she also has her playful moments, this is London. But Jesse, you're here with Jimmy 2, not Jimmy, Jimmy 1. No, this is Jimmy 2, James the Second, I suppose. James the Second, I like that better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds a bit more dignified. Yes, yeah, so it's a dignified cat. <laughs> Jimmy, too, is one of our senior cats. Okay, and what does that mean? That means he's over eight years old, uh -huh. um, and he qualifies. If you are over 62, uh -huh. you can adopt Jimmy for free. You can get the adoption fees waived. Oh, that's great. Yeah, because we have some, and I don't even think of eight as senior for a cat. No, middle-aged? Middle-aged, yeah, early middle-aged. Mature. <laughs> Mature. Not a member of ARP yet. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Jimmy's also a very pretty cat. Oh, um, gorgeous. There might be Russian blue in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, he might be mature, uh -huh. but he's still got a lot of energy in him. He's yes. moving around quite a bit here. <laughs> yes. I think maybe, uh, well, most cats will be kind of quiet when you first get them home and want to go hide, and I think Jimmy too will do that. Mm -hmm. But he's gorgeous, so who wouldn't want a lovely cat like this in their home? Absolutely. This is Jimmy too. We have a petite little girl here. Who is this? We do. This is Zoe. Uh huh. And she's about a year old. Okay. Um, she's just a little sweet little girl. She is. She is. It looks like she'll be a good lap cat too. I think so. Yeah. She's a little cat. Oh, all of a sudden when I said that, she decided she wanted to get down. <laughs> of <explore>. course. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's lots of stuff in this room yes. where we take. Yes. This is also one of our get acquainted rooms. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's all kinds of toys and cat smells in here. She's really pretty. She's tabby, but she has almost the, the copper uh -huh. in there, yeah. undercoat. Yeah. 
really pretty. Now she's a year old. Do you think she'll get much bigger than this? I don't think so. I think she's just going to be a small little girl. I yes. think so too. Yeah, because her head isn't that big either. But she's probably another one of those all-around cats, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. black cat, play cats, depending on her mood. Right. Not your mood. <laughs> right. Her mood. <laughs> oh. But uh, she's a curious, beautiful green eyes. Yeah. You see all of your features. And I hear she's quite the talker, too. Oh, she is? Yes. Okay. Another one you can have a great conversation with yeah. in your home. <laughs> oh, if you're looking for a really sweet little girl, just a beautiful girl, this is Zoe. Erica, who's this beautiful, beautiful oh, kitten you have? This is Delaney. Oh. He is purring so loud. Can't really hear it, but I can feel it on my hand. <laughs> I can hear it from over here, actually. He's a real sweetie. He's a little shy, that's why he's in his basket. Yeah, he just takes a little while to warm up. Yeah. That's okay. No, he uh, came in very young, and we're not sure where he'd been, so you don't know what they've been through when they first come in. Yeah. But um, you need to remember that cats are very attached to places, and when they come into your home, it's going to take them a while to adapt. Yeah. Not just a night or two, maybe a couple weeks to mm -hmm. get acclimated. Mm -hmm. Some of them might come out right away, and some of them are going to take longer. But I think with somebody quiet and patient that Delaney would really oh, blossom out. Absolutely. Just wonderful kitty. Sorry I can't get him out of his bed, though. <laughs> he likes it in there right now. But, yeah, he's going to be a gorgeous cat. And we are starting into kitten season, so those of you who do want a kitten, although those adult cats are wonderful, uh, and you don't have the kitten things going on, we'll be getting lots more. But if you're looking for a real sweetie now, a quieter cat, this is Delaney. You know, Jesse, decorating tip, mm -hmm. black and white is very in vogue right now. That's true, extremely stylish. It is. So if you're trying to match your pets to your home, oh, mm -hmm. there you go. This is Lizzie. Lizzie, okay. Which I guess if you wanted to class it up would be Elizabeth. Oh, and she would go with James II. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but she's actually one of our, our very younger cat. Uh, okay. She's only two. Oh, that's still very young. Barely out of kittenhood. Oh, you know. just barely. <laughs> you know. And she's extremely uh, sweet. Uh -huh. um, she's just sitting on my lap here and purring for the past several minutes. <laughs> um, so I think she's a... A lap cat? Oh, definitely. If she's doing that here, I would almost guarantee, although no reps and warranties with our cats, that she would probably do that at home. Absolutely. Yeah. Of course, maybe she just loves me. <laughs> well, that could be it, too. <laughs> no, I think she would love anybody. Yeah, I think so, too. That's what's great about our Get Acquainted rooms here is because you can have the cat brought in and just spend time with them and find out if it's a good match or not. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and then she's also making muffins for you at for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so she is so pretty. And if you're looking for a great, calmer cat. This is Lizzie. Yes. We have some really nice tabbies right now with this beautiful copper color. It's almost torty. Yes. I think they call it torby. Torby, yes, that's something yes. something that we coined here or not. Yes. So who is this? This is Sophie. Okay. And she's eight years old. All righty. And, um... She's just very curious. <laughs> she is a very curious kitty. Here, Sophie. Oh, she's going to go check out things. Yeah. Well, she's a cat. Cats are curious. So she just needs to check out where she is. And she is eight years old, so uh, she might be right on the verge of being uh, seniors for seniors. Mm -hmm. But she hasn't been uh, delegated that way yet. She's still a very young eight years old, very active which many cats can be for many oh, years. Sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. So you have to remember that, that as I mentioned before, cats can live to be 15, 20 years old. Oh, yes. So you need to make sure where you are in, in your life and your lifestyle, if that's going to fit in with it or not. Because as we move around, our kitties go mm -hmm. with us. They sure do. Yeah. So Sophie's a real sweetie, uh, probably be a little adventurous at first in yes. your new home. Yes, very curious. Check everything out, and then after a while, be a lap cat. If you're looking for an all-around good cat, this is Sophie. Mm -hmm. We have another gorgeous female. This is River. River, our little tabby. Uh-huh. Lots of good tabbies here right now. Yes, and she's so cute. She has little freckles right on either side of her nose. Aww. Super special. Yeah. She's a very sweet girl. She does not like the shelter. She's mm -hmm. gonna do great once she gets in a home, but she needs to get in a home. Right. 
Uh, she's another story you know, with her economy today, which continues on. Uh, the owner lost their home and moved in with her grandmother who was very allergic to cats. So this is a, a person who really didn't have any choice, but thank goodness brought the cat yeah. to the shelter to give it another chance. But she's so confused. She's confused. She's wondering, where's my bed? Where's yes. my house? Exactly, exactly. And you can just see her saying that. She's another beautiful cat, and this time of year, they do need a lot of brushing and combing. They do. Yeah, so that's something that you need to remember for the kitties. But like all our wonderful cats here, River really needs a home, and she did. She's used to being in a home, and yeah. we want to get her into one very quickly again. Loving girl. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Just Center, or call our office. With big green eyes and snow white paws, I know for certain she'll be climbing my curtain, leaving her hairballs on the floor. But I like cats. Abandoned and lost. From the dark, cold streets of the city to a cage in the local shelter to heaven, your lap. Oh, Bobby, this bunny is so cute. It's a baby bunny, it's, right? It's about two months old. Uh -huh. Her name is Banana. B-U-N-A-N-A. -A. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's not even yellow. No, and she's very, very sweet, obviously. Yes. She was found, which means either somebody let her go uh -huh. or she got away. And again, that's why we keep them inside for yes. safety. Yes. But she was found by probably one of our wonderful control of, uh, animal control officers uh -huh. and brought into the shelter. So, which is where if people, you know, in Irvine don't want their bunnies, they need to find a good place for them not to relinquish them out in the wild. They cannot survive. They yeah. are domestic and they are not wild. No, she wouldn't have made it if somebody hadn't found her. Who yeah. knows how long she was out? Probably not very long. But if you're looking for a, a little rabbit to start with, <laughs> maybe somebody, an experienced rabbit person because she's so young. It would be good. We, you know, she's so cute. Yeah. Well, she's adorable. So if you're looking for a little baby rabbit, this is Bun Anna. Oh, we have big and beautiful. This is. We went from small to big. Yes. Big and beautiful. This is one of our ruby-eyed beauties. Uh huh. This is Lacey. Okay. And she is just a sweetheart. Um, she loves to be pet. She's very smart. Okay. And as you can see, look at how happy she is on my lap, Kathy. Oh, she's perfect. Be a great lap rabbit. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, the bigger bunnies are a lot more gentle and really. Um, more friendly. Okay. Uh, we had one on our show last week, mm -hmm. Kokomo, who's very similar to Lacey. And Lacey's just been here too long. She's okay. been here a year and a half. Oh. And she's just dying to go home with a really nice family. Yes. It's one of those mysteries of why people bypass the white rabbits, like bypassing the black cats and dogs. And I think this is the classic rabbit. This it is grown up with Alice in Wonderland and all of that. And she's so sweet. So somebody looking for a calm rabbit, maybe somebody that hasn't had many rabbits before, mm -hmm. this would be, be great. Imagine just sitting at night watching TV with Lacey. She'd love to chill with you. Yeah, she <laughs> would. So if you want a big girl, this is Lacey. Well, here's another white rabbit, a little smaller yes. than others that we've seen, but really cute. This is still a young rabbit, right? Yes, she's about eight months old. Oh, okay. Her name is Pebbles. Uh huh. And she's very, very sweet. She's got the big blue eyes. Yes. And she doesn't really like to be picked up a lot. Okay. Which most bunnies don't because they are prey animals. Right. But um, she is good when you pick her up. Okay. And she's very sweet. She would make a wonderful pet for someone and uh, she's just great. And also, you know, we need to mention that they are litter box trained like cats. 
Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's, that's great. It's so, almost a natural. People are very surprised to hear that. Uh, yes, yes, because you don't think of it. Yes. But that would be just another plus for rabbits yes, in your it house. Yes, so you don't have to pick up after them. Yes, you just and they're train very them. and they're very easy to take care of in a lot of ways. They yes. have to have their salad every night. Right. Well, we should all have our salad yes. every night. So if you're looking for a really sweet rabbit, this is Pebbles. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office. Adopting a new pet is a rewarding experience. And shelter pets make super pets. Your new best friend will steal your heart, bring you happiness, and enrich your life for years to come. You can make a difference in the life of an animal. Adopt and bring home a shelter pet today. To find out more, visit the shelterpetproject.org. Another sweet little compact rabbit. Who is this? This is this is Rocket, and she is just a beautiful bunny. Um, another blue. She's a blue-eyed beauty. She is pretty. Um, she looks like she has a little dwarf in her. Cause look at these adorable little ears. And Rocket is uh, a bonded pair. Uh, her husband is Nibbles. Okay. So if you would like a pair of rabbits that will keep each other company while you're at work, we have Rocket and Nibbles. Well, they're a wonderful pair of rabbits, just like the, all the animals here at the Irvine Animal Care Center. We have some great adoptable animals, and what you saw in the show, just a sampling of what we have. So come on down to the Irvine Animal Care Center, and pick out a new family member or two. And we'd like to see you here, and also next time on Irvine Pets and Company. Or neuter your pet.